Steve in Stillwater, Minnesota. Hey, Steve, what's on your mind today? Uh, I'm also a uh, uh, concealed carry guy in uh, Minnesota, and I grew up in St. Paul, and that's, you know, I know exactly where this happened. Mm-hmm. And you are right about the white privilege, because this would have never happened to me, you know. Because you're a white circumstance. guy. Yeah. Have you ever had an encounter with the police where, where you told them that you had a concealed weapon? No, and now I'm worried if I ever do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think, you know, like you said, you're, you're white. You probably don't have much yeah. to worry about. I'm, uh, you know, when, when my sister-in-law, you know, had that experience, had that experience uh, the police officer seemed actually, you know, quite happy that she had that con- concealed weapon, you know. And, and the only thing I can think of, and not to make uh, comedy out of this, but uh, if you remember the old uh, Andy Griffith show, mm-hmm. and he he gave his deputy Barney Fife one bullet, and he had to keep it in his uh, his uh, sure pocket. Uh, pocket. Yeah. Maybe that's the answer because uh, this is insane. Well, I remember a you know not to. Not to go off on nostalgia lane here too heavily, but I, you know, I remember an Andy Griffith segment where, in fact, we played a clip from it some years back, um, where Opie comes to Dad, comes to Andy, and says, "Pa, how come you don't carry a gun?" Because I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you watch the old Andy Griffith show, yeah, he, Andy he wasn't really, armed. Yeah, he, he doesn't. He didn't carry a gun, and he says, "How come you don't carry a gun?" And and Andy said, "Because uh, in in this town, I want people to respect me, not to fear me." Yeah, I, I, that's absolutely true. And 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 I, you know, I think that we have a police culture in this country that has derived in large part out of our military culture. We're we're watching on an ongoing basis, and I think this frankly started with Richard Nixon, um, the militarization of our police departments. If you go back and you look at and and back when when I had my my botched surgery a couple of years ago and. And uh, uh, Louise and I lay, basically laid in bed for two weeks and binge watched Netflix because we, we were in so much pain, couldn't do anything else. She had just had breast cancer surgery. I just had prostate cancer surgery. And, and we were watching old Columbos and we were watching old Macmillan and Wives. And we were watching cop shows from the 70s. And nobody, you know, half of them didn't carry guns. I mean, here's the police commissioner for San Francisco. He's not carrying a gun. I mean, it's you know they're 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 chasing people. I mean, literally chasing them and tackling them and dragging them to the ground. They're, they, it's it's, and and I'm not saying oh you know let's bring back the good old days because those weren't good old days for black people. I mean, black people were being murdered by police back then too. In fact, probably in greater numbers than today. It's just that there were no cameras recording it, no media who gave a damn about it because the media was exclusively white back then. Well, I, I watch the police even around here. They're SWAT teams, and they don't look like police. They look like light infantry. That's right. And and that's that's the thing. As as our country becomes more and more militarized, and now we got civilians who want to be militarized, right? The the militias, the from the from the uh, the 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 semi goofy ones like the Bundy militia. Although I would not, you know, I would take them very seriously. I wouldn't dismiss them to the very serious ones, like, you know, the Michigan militia and some of these guys who are actually fairly well organized. Um, It's like everybody wants to be the army. For what war? Steve, thanks for the call. Thanks for watching Free Speech TV. We'll be right back. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.